I'm Hebba and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the thumbnail, I've got my empties to show you guys. And here they are right here. You know, a bunch of usual stuff and some new stuff in here and let you know if I'll repurchase or uh, have them in already a backup or if it was kind of a me, you know. <laughs> But, anywho, so yes, today I'm going to be showing you my empties video, and it's such a beautiful day today. I mean, blue sky. I don't have the ring light on. This is all natural light. I probably look a little, uh, but I'm just enjoying this beautiful day. All right, well, let me just show you my empties here, and these have been in my empties before. This is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream and Shower Gel. I just absolutely love this scent. I could just... It just smells so good. That just smells so good. And yes, I do have backups of this and the shower gel. I I love the scent. I love the scent. And I also, you know, I have my Moonlight Path. I love that scent from Bath, Bath and Body Works. And I also like the L'Occitane one, the almond one. But yes, this has made a repeat performance in the empties and there will be encore presentation of this. <laughs> Here is L'Oreal, the micellar water, and I really like this. I am using the Bioderma right now, but when I'm almost fin finished with that one, I will be repurchased the L'Oreal. I really like the L'Oreal, besides the Bioderma. I mean, I think the Bioderma for me is right up there. And then this is a drugstore version of it, and I really like this one. I did buy the CeraVe micellar water, that one, I've been trying it, and it's not my favorite. I think I'm going to have to return that one. That one stings my eyes. It just really stings my eyes. And so that CeraVe one may go back. To let you know, I use this to wipe my eye makeup off. I'll just pour some in those Shiseido cotton pads, and I'll put it over my eyes, and it just wipes away the eye makeup. So yes, I will. I will be repurchasing this one. Okay, another cleansing item here. This is by Eve Loam, and it is their cleansing cream. And this is a big jar of it. It's the 6.8. Wow, I can read it without my glasses. <laughs> this is the 6.8 ounce jar. Now, if you saw my favorites video of February, and I'll post that video down below, I've been using the Sunday Riley, the Blue Moon Cleansing Balm, and I really like that one. And it's also cheaper than this one, the almost the equivalent size of it, because this, this one is the bigger size. This one, I do have a couple of travel size, so I'll finish those up. And I do have several other cleansing cloths of this one from Eve Loam that I'll use for my Sunday Riley one. That's the one bad thing about the Sunday Riley one is that it does not come with a cleansing cloth. And with this, how I use both cleansing balms is that I'll, you know, take some and I'll rub it on my hands and put it over my face, a dry face, and then I'll fill my sink up with water, you know, just enough, and I'll get the cleansing balm and I'll wet it and I'll just put it over my face and it just wipes the makeup off. I mean, I'll use it several times, I'll do that several times, but it just <sighs> takes the makeup off and I see that more with the Sunday Rowdy one. This one's still good, I mean, but for the price, I think I like the Sunday Rowdy better even though it doesn't come with a cleansing cloth and you know you could probably buy a cleansing cloth online uh, from Eve Lom or even the Colleen Rothschild which I think her cleansing cloth is a little bit better actually <laughs> so I may buy more of hers and I also like her cleansing balm but I'm jabbering here but anyway I think I like the Sunday Riley better so I may hold off buying another one of the Eve Lom until I finish the the travel size, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, another cleansing oil here is by Tatcha, and it is the Pure, oh my goodness, the Pure One Step Camilla, the One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. And this one came like in a box set from, with Sephora points, uh, came with other items in there too, and I like this one. I like how it smells, and I may get the bigger one, but I've got other cleansing oils that I'm using. And I use this one not for my face. I use this one to kind of wipe off swatches on my arm if I have a lot of swatches and I'll use the cleansing oil. And if I'm not, if I'm just wearing like a, 
a tinted moisturizer, then I'll use this to wipe off, to clean off my face. But I really like this one. So this one's on my list of purchasing later. Let's see here. Another cleansing, uh, another cleanser is by Tata Harper and it is their regenerating cleanser. I love this one. This one is a really nice, gentle cleanser and I could use this every day. The only bad thing about it is the little squirty sprout thing here. It does clog up. So, you, you know, when it got, when it got like that, I'll just unscrew it and just, you know, just take some off from this little wand here. And it smells good. No, oh, I got a whiff of that. It smells really good and it, it just makes my skin feel really good. And I do have a backup of this one, but I didn't get it in the jar. I saw it in Sephora and it comes like in a tube, you know, kind of like, like this type of a tube. So we'll see how that one works, but I do like this one and I do have a backup of this one, but not in the glass jar. Okay, speaking of this kind of a tube, this is the Sleeping Recovery Mask by Amore Pacific. This one, you know, you put it on after your serums and moisturizers and treatments, whatever. This one, do you need a sleeping mask? Probably not. And I do have sleeping masks and I do like them. There's a couple that I really like. And because um, in the morning when you wake up, I just like how it feels. I just like how it feels. But this one didn't do much for me. And so, actually, I did let my husband use it. <laughs> this one I kind of pawned off to my husband. So he's been using this one. And we probably won't be repurchasing this one because, like I said, I have other sleeping masks that we use that I like better than this one. And it's nice that, you know, there are products if you don't like and you can't return that you can just, you know, here, here, baby, try this. <laughs> Now, speaking of that, there's another item here that he's been using that I kind of pawned off to him. And it is by Darfin. And it is their beauty, their beauty revealing cream. This one we bought a year ago and didn't do anything for me. So this was another item that I just kind of, here dear, try this. <laughs> and he finally finished it for me. So I guess I'll put some of his stuff in here too. I mean, I did try it. But it didn't do anything for me, and so he's been using it, and he likes it. So yes, so even though he has been using this and he did finish it up for me, uh, we will not be repurchasing these. All right, here, this one here. La Mer. My La Mer. This one here, this is the, oh goodness, sorry about that, the Lifting Contouring Serum. This is my fourth bottle that I've used and I love this. Every time I put it on my face just looks brighter and smoother. Um, La Mer. You know, this is, I've been using this for years. La Mer has been my moisturizing cream for years until, you know, I started watching YouTube and, you know, seeing other medical grade uh, creams out there that I really enjoy that I really see a difference in my face But there are certain days when my face is kind of, kind of sensitive and that I just don't want to put you know too many treatments on my face, but whenever I put this on my face just looks brighter and smoother and I will be getting another one of this I'm just waiting for like a gift with purchase because I will be repurchasing this. So, yes. All right, two here, two products here. Actually, they're both the same by Mario Badescu and it's their Rose Water. This is the four ounce and the two ounce. And I have backup of this. I really like this. This is just, you know, after you wash your face, get out of the shower, just spritz it on your face. You can even set your makeup with this. You can even uh, use it like a MAC Fix Plus on your uh, eyeshadow flat the flat shader eyeshadow brush you know if you want to put a shimmer sh uh, shade okay there's a lot of S's in there <laughs> but I I hope you know what I'm trying to say you can also use this as a MAC fix plus to spritz it on your flat shader brush 
for your shimmering eyeshadows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, yes, I have several of these. This one here, I typically re will reuse this bottle. But since I got another one in a kit, I think it was over the holidays, so I'll just put these in recycle bin. All right, next here is by Biosense, and it's their Squalene and Peptide Eye Gel. I really like this. I already have a backup of this one. This one, I notice that it uh, depuffs my eyes. Um, it reduces the puffiness. <laughs> so I just can't speak today. But it reduces my puffiness. Now, this one also claims that it can reduce the dark circles. I haven't seen that but I can just use corrector underneath my eye and that kind of helps with the camouflaging of the dark circles but I really like this one so and I already have a backup of this I'm already using it here is a shampoo and conditioner by Frederick Fakai it is the brilliant one for color treated hair just a travel size I do get my hair cut at Frederick Fakai in Dallas and this is their new shampoo and conditioner and I wanted to give it a try and I really like it and I already have the full size of these. All right here's a mask oh the herbivore the blue tansy mask with uh, AHAs and BHAs. I love this one. This one I'll also repurchase when I find if there's like a gift with purchase or I believe sometimes Derm Store will have a sale so I'll wait for that because because I do have a travel size one of this one, so I'm just going to use that one. But this one has really cleared, you know, the debris that's underneath my skin that has really cleared it out. And I really like the smell. I really like how this just makes my skin look. So yes, I will be rebuying this one. All right, another mask here by Peter Thomas Roth. This is the 24 karat gold mask. I also got this one in a Sephora points like almost a year ago. This was a nice mask. I did see that it brightened my skin, but will I buy this one again? Maybe. Maybe I'll buy it with uh, points, use my four points with it, but to buy a full size, because I don't think this is the full size uh, jar, but probably not the full size. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, a sign there. <laughs> All right, another mask here by Sephora. And this is the green clay mask. This one is for pores. And it says here that you can use, you can get four uses out of this. This one, I mean, I think I used it maybe six or seven or eight times. There was a lot of product in here. And it, it dries down on your face. I mean, it was okay for the price. You know, I do like this one and I have another one. I have a purple one. And I don't remember which one that one is supposed to do. Maybe brightening? Uh, maybe. Maybe I'll, I'll repurchase this one. There are other make mad. There are other mud masks that I like uh, better than this one. But for the price, this one's good too. So it's it's you know it's it's on my radar if I see it again at the store because they have it right there on the line. You know when you're checking out. They have it right there, and if I see it, okay, I'll grab it. <laughs> oh yeah, another uh, cleanser. This is the CeraVe, the cleansing cloth. This one, I already have a, I already repurchased this one. And this one, you know, I don't use it to wipe my face. I use this one more to um, wipe some swatches on my fingers. Or if I have the uh, foundation on my hand, I'll just use that to wipe that. And I usually will tear these in half to kind of make them last longer and just put the other half that I'm not using back in here to keep it moist. But yes, I already repurchased this one. I have several of the Dr. Dennis Gross, the Alpha Beta uh, exfoliating peels. I really like this and I still have my big box of them left. And another thing here by Dr. Dennis Gross that I'm actually liking, it is the C plus collagen uh, cream moisturizing. And you know, I kind of like this one better than the, uh, I believe it was a drunk elephant or was it Sunday Riley? Huh, can't remember which one it was. It was a Sunday Riley one. Yes, it was a Sunday Riley one. Yeah, I think I like this one better than the Sunday Riley one. 
because I, I used that one up in my last month's empty, the Sunday Roddy one, and I like that one. Then I had this one, and so I've been using this one, and I kind of like this one better than the Sunday Roddy one. And luckily, I didn't get the Sunday Roddy one. So I will like to repurchase this one again, again when I see it on sale. So yes. All right, these two here, I'm gonna need my glasses for this one. This one came with the Darfin, the moisturizing cream, the one that I kind of pawned on my husband. This one were, I guess, gifts. And this, these are the Illuminating Oil Serum and the Redness Relief Soothing Serum. Mm, they were nice gifts, but I probably won't be repurchasing these. Let's see here. This is by Skin Cuticles, the eye cream. I like the other eye cream, the AXO, I believe that's what it's called. The eye cream by Skin Cuticles. So this was just a nice sample to try, but it didn't do anything for me. All right, this here, <laughs> I figured I might just show it to you. This is the tube from the uh, first aid band-aid, the first aid uh, tape that I use, you know, to put it underneath my eye to give the eyeshadow that crisp look. So I finished it and I did buy another one and it's nice because it doesn't stick to, it's not very sticky on the skin so when you pull it off it doesn't, you know, pull on the skin because I don't like things to pull on my skin, <laughs> especially at my age. Uh, let's see here. This is the Lancome, the Art Liner. The Art Liner? Yes, the Art Liner. Finish this one. And these are eye pencils. These were Korean skincare brand. I couldn't tell you. I think Innisfree was one of them. And I couldn't tell you the other one. But they dried up real quick. So, trash. Alright. And I guess that's it. Except for my masks. Alright. I won't go through all of them here, but... I've got the Shiseido, the Ben Fiance mask. I have, uh, you know, the Korean skincare by Misha. I really like those. Very inexpensive. I have the uh, Too Cool for School, the egg cream mask, and several other uh, Korean skincare. And the Floropathy. The Floropy? Floropy! Yay! I said it right. The Floropy mask. I like this one. It's a coconut uh, sheet mask, a coconut gel mask. I really like these. Dr. Jart, I really like this one. The Suwasu, this one came in the Lucky Bag by Beautylish. I really like this one. And the last thing here, this mask right here by Lancer. This one was in my Beauty Fix subscription box for the month of February. And I did a video on this, and hopefully that will come up in the next week or two because I wanted to see if this would really lift and plump your skin. After I did the unboxing, I wanted to see how much this would cost. And when I saw that it cost $120 for four sheet masks, I thought, okay, I have to do a video to see if it really works. Even though it cost four of them for $120 on Nordstrom, they sell one for $35. So, mm. and, Spoiler alert, no, I'm not going to be re repurchasing this one because it's $35. Yes, I know I have, you know, kind of expensive taste, but, and I will spend the money if I see results on my skin. So I didn't feel that it was worth $35 for one cheap mask. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I mean, no offense to the brand. I really like Lancer as a brand. I do like their lip serum, their lip plumping serum, but this mask, no. Unless it comes back in another subscription box, then I'll use it, but to buy it, probably not, no. And I feel bad that I'm saying that, but I have to tell you the truth, guys. I mean, that's a lot of money for this mask. <laughs> It's a lot of money for this mask. That I do have some masks that cost people like $15 to $18. And those are expensive. And I, I do so, see some results in that one, even though it's temporary. But this one, 
I did see a little bit of plumping, but not enough for me to go out and buy a four sheet mask for $120. I hope that makes sense. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my empties video and a couple of them were my husband's in there too. And I do appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.